What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another vending collection video. As you can see, we're at the laundromat location and look how many things are sold out, guys, or sold down, I should say. As you know, the weather is getting warmer here in South Carolina and that means our drink sales are definitely increasing. Um, this, however, is our best drink machine. Um, the truck accessory shop is doing pretty well too, but this one seems to be our best drink machine. Although lately we've been having issues with coin jams at this machine because people have been jamming pennies in the coin chute of all things. So I don't know, I'm not sure what you all do out there to combat people jamming pennies in your machines. But if you got any ideas for me, guys, put it down in the comments. And let me know what might work for you. Uh, I don't know if you, you know if you put a little sign on there that this machine does not accept pennies or something like that. But twice this week I've had coin jams and both of them have had pennies stuck in the coin chute. So I don't know. Never seemed to have that issue before at this location. Hopefully we're not opening up a new trend or a new problem here. But again, put it down in the comments and let me know what you uh, what you work with. All right, so we've got a lot of things to stock up in this machine. As you can see, currently I'm stocking Mountain Dew. I was stocking up some of that orange Sunkist. And as you know, we can kind of differentiate the types of uh, orange and grape sodas we use in this machine. Ultimately, grape, the only thing I can find in 12 ounce cans right now is Grape Fago. Luckily, I'm able to find that, um, but I was using Grape Fanta. I haven't seen Grape Fanta since since the pandemic started. Don't know if Grape Fanta will ever be back in 12 ounce cans for us, but uh, I've called it out in the past. Some of you have seen that in your local area. So if you if you do see Grape Fanta, put it down in the comments. And let me know city and states if it's in the states that you've seen Grape Fanta, just so I know that they are actually still making it, because I certainly haven't seen it here in South Carolina. All right. Anyway, we're stocking up the Mountain Dew with one of the big 36 packs. And I think that's either from BJ's Wholesale or from Sam's Club. I can't remember which one. Uh, what else we got? We got to stock up some Monster today. Monster's been selling. There is some Grape Fago down there. Um, but like I was saying about the uh, the different uh, fruit sodas, so Orange, lately we, we've been using Orange Sunkist. Previously, we were using Orange Fago as well and also Orange Fanta, which we can still find all three. So what I've been doing for the Orange drink is I've been basically buying whatever's the best thing on sale. And lately, it's been the Orange Sunkiss, because as you know, they run with the 7-Up and A&W Root Beer line, and Walgreens usually has a really good deal where you can, you can get three for roughly $10, or I think the last time I used my membership card or whatever, and it came out to like eight something, so it was even cheaper than that. So I was really excited that I got such a good deal on the Orange Sunkiss. But uh, put it down in the comments, guys. Let me know what orange soda you use in your machines. Do you use Sunkiss? Do you use Fanta? Do you use something else? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. I've even seen people use Orange Crush. And uh, with that said, do they make a grape crush in 12 ounce cans? I'm not sure. Again, put those all those things down in the comments. Let me know what you're seeing and what you use. And uh, maybe we'll get some more opportunities here for this machine. Anyway, the cola sales are doing really well. As you can see, we're filling up Pepsi now. We got to fill up Coke. I think we've got one of those 35 packs of Coke from either Sam's or BJ's Wholesale too. Uh, but right now we're stocking up Pepsi 12 packs. And again, I use the Flip app to really go and, and find what the best deals are. As you know, Sam's Club is in the next town over from me. And with the price of gas lately, I've been trying to stay more local and stay within my existing town. Now, I do have a BJ's Wholesale in my town. The prices are a little bit higher. We've done a previous video where we actually went and kind of looked at the shelves to see what they sold there and what the prices were like. But if you like those types of videos as well, put it down in the comments. Let me know if you want me to go to Sam's Club and show you what my Sam's Club looks like or even like grocery stores. I know we've done some shopping videos that everyone seemed to like, so we'll probably do more of that in the future. But again, if you like that type of video, give, it, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. All right, getting that orange stocked up, but we're just about up to the top, and I think that's gonna be it for the orange. I think we've got one more grape to do. We've got some Coke to do, obviously. We got some Monster to do. Uh, we got lots of things to stock up still. What else do we got? Yeah, grape, monster, and coke. So let's get those stocked up. While we're doing that, guys, I do want to remind you, it is time to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 if you haven't done so yet. And even if you have, do me a favor, scroll down, make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, we have lost some subscribers lately, and I'm not sure if it's because we've been posting short videos on our off days, and that's been upsetting people, or if it's because we've been talking about Nyax so much on our videos, and we had some comments about Nyax and how I talk about that too much. So I, I apologize out there for all of you if uh, if you know if you've if it gets repetitious or if you've, you're tired of hearing about Nyax. As you know, we do we, we do have an affiliate program with Nyax. Um, you can find the link for that or that information down in the description of this video. I'm not going to talk about it in this video per some previous comments I got. So, shout out to you out there for that made those comments. We're gonna we're gonna try and take your uh, comments and put them to work. But we do got to keep the bills paid around here to keep this channel going. FYI. 
<laughs> All right, getting that coke stocked up. But again, do want to remind you, um, subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. As of the making of this video, we are at 3,399. So we probably will hit 3,400 today. Hopefully by the time this video posts, we'll have 3,400 uh, subscribers. So that'll be the next milestone. We'll start working on the one after that. You know, as you know, we're, we're posting short videos on our off days and not every off day, but most off days. And what that does is it creates eyes on the channel. It gets our channel out there and gets other people to view the channel and know and learn about the channel. So again, I apologize if you don't like the short videos or if it's you know not exactly you know what you want to see. Keep in mind though, we are trying to grow the channel and if in order for us to continue making videos, we do need to grow the channel. Um, we've been doing this almost three years now and we're still only in that th mid 3,000 subscriber level. You know, I was hoping we'd be more at the 5,000 or even 10,000 subscriber level at this point. I mean, look at channels like Quick Play or Jaime Abenez or things like that. Obviously, they are doing really well. They've got hundreds of thousands of subs subs subscribers. I can't even talk today. Um, so I realize their videos are a little bit different than ours, but hopefully we'll get that big break soon. So with that said, also make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Because when you do, when you like the video, it helps YouTube share the video to other new viewers. It helps the algorithm and helps us grow. So we would appreciate a subscription, a like, a share, anything you can do to help the channel grow. We would really appreciate that. All right, getting the grape stocked up next. After we get that, all we got to do stock up after that is the monster energy. And I think we're going to do the whole, the whole case of monster in this machine because it's pretty low. So as you know, though, um, yeah. Once, yeah, okay, we got one more grave, then we got the monster. So as you know, like I was saying, though, this machine also takes dollar coins. And when people pay with a $5 bill, it usually gives them their change back in dollar coins, too. So I'm starting to see people using more and more dollar coins. Now, I, I, when we first started this machine, I filled the coin tubes with quarters, dimes, and nickels. I didn't put any dollar coins in this machine. And um, as it, as people use this machine, because the uh, one, that's one thing the laundromat does have, it's a change machine with dollar coins. So people have been using that in this machine and just been filling up the dollar coin tube in the coin mech too. So it's uh, it's probably a little under half, maybe maybe about a quarter or I don't know, something like that. A little over a third, I don't know. Anyway, it's starting to fill up. And once that coin tube gets full, if it ever does, then those coins will start appearing in the coin box too of the, of, uh, of, our, of our machine. So hopefully that'll get there soon, but I think it's pretty cool that you know we're able to use dollar coins now and give these customers another option to pay. I just hope that pretty soon people will stop jamming pennies in this machine because we've had two coin jams this week. I've had to go up there twice because, and, and honestly, I would have never known, but luckily I have the Nyax app so I can always see how much money this machine's making every day. So what I typically do is I log in and I check all my machines, I see how the sales are going, see what the inventory looks like. And this one I've noticed too, it had like a dollar and then like nothing for the rest of the day. And then the next day didn't have anything in the morning. So I was like, ah, I bet there's a coin jam. So I went up and sure enough, twice this week, coin jams. So the good news is, is we got them cleared. That was easy. Um, but the bad news is it's happened twice this week. So like I said, hopefully it's just a fluke and this isn't going to be a trend that's going to be starting. But uh, luckily we were able to clear it real easy. All right, the only thing I hate about that is people lose their money, right? Because they get stuck in that coin chute and they don't get anything in return. So that puts a bad a bad uh, taste in their mouth, right? We don't we don't want that. We don't we want them to get their product that they're buying. And that, that way they have confidence in our machine. All right, with that said, we've got a couple more things. Maybe we've got a couple more Pepsis, a couple more Mountain Dews. This, this is my what I call my loose 12 packs. And basically, um, especially when going to the barbershop machine, since it, you know, it, it doesn't hold a whole bunch. Um, when I go there, I usually take like seven or eight, whatever, whatever the whatever the machine needs, and then I just leave the loose packs in some crates back at the shop. So now I'm kind of unloading those to make sure I can top these columns off. And of course, we are going to go in and update our inventory in the Nyax app as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get those topped off there, and then it's going to be time to do our collection. So who knows? But how cool is this location, guys? This is my favorite laundromat location. It's the nicest laundromat in our area. Um, it's, it's kind of funny too. I talked to the owner the other day and he is uh, very happy with our service, especially since we upgraded to the newer machine. He says people are loving it. He, he loves getting his commission on time every month. So he's really excited about that. Um, and who knows, we might be able to get some future machines inside. Him and I are starting to talk about things. We'll see what happens. All right. Lots of coins. Let's go ahead and check the dollars next. But look at all those coins, guys. Lots of coins in the coin bag. We'll check the dollars next and we'll get a total for you. 
There we go. All right. Total collected between coins and cash, not credit cards, just coins and cash, $168.35. Now, I wonder, you know, where's that $0.35 cents coming from? Who knows? Maybe uh, maybe a couple coins got stuck in the in the chute or something like that. I don't know. But one sixty-eight thirty-five total collected. We'll go ahead and take it. All right. So with that said, it's time to lock this machine up and then wrap the video up, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.